Prize-winning film Red Spot recently opened in German cinemas. Aki opens a mysterious parcel in Tokyo 18 years after it was sent from Germany. The dot on the map is the key to discovering more about her parents, who were killed in a car crash in southern Germany. Was gibt es denn hier? Es gibt Stein. Stein. The movie tells the tragic tale of how the paths of two families from two very different cultures cross. Director Marie Miyayama deals with this difficult topic in a poetic manner. It's a powerful first film and our number three this week. The Baum Wollspinnerei in Leipzig is celebrating its 125th anniversary. The old cotton mill is now the place where some of Germany's leading contemporary artists have their studios. Luminaries of the new Leipzig school, such as Neo Rauch, and Matthias Weischer come here to paint. Cotton was spun here until the year 2000. Now it's home to a hundred studios and a dozen galleries. The most successful gallery owner here is Gerd Harry Lübke. He discovered Neo Rauch and helped focus worldwide attention on the Leipzig art scene. From cotton to culture, a Leipzig success story. Our number two this week. Claudio Magris is this year's winner of the Peace Prize of the German book trade. The cosmopolitan Italian author and scholar lives in the port city of Trieste, which was ruled by the Habsburgs for centuries. His books explore the diversity of Central Europe. The jury lauded Magris's concern with examining the problems associated with how cultures interact and live with one another. Magris's narratives cover a lot of ground, tracking the peculiarities and contradictions of European society. He undertakes journeys of exploration and transforms his experiences into literature. Claudio Magris, the recipient of this year's German Book Trade Peace Prize.